Hi, I'm Adam Parker. I'm the Assistant Curator of Archaeology here at the Yorkshire Museum. I'm going to introduce a really interesting object in our collections to you. It's just behind me here. This is a gypsum burial cast. Now, gypsum is a kind of lime mortar that was used in late Roman burials, so particularly the 3rd and 4th centuries AD, um, to cover bodies after the, uh, as part of the funeral process and before they've been put into a sarcophagus. So what we're looking at here, this is the wrong way around. So this should be uh, 180 degrees the other way around. You're looking at the bottom up, not the top down. And what this process does is it preserves the shadow of the people who were in the sarcophagus. So on the top side here, there is somebody's head, the impression there, and a body laid down on its side, facing inwards. There is a second head impression just in the corner here, and another body laid on its side together, and between them, a third one in here. So what we have here is probably a family group, where there is one person, a second person, and a swaddled infant, all together that's been buried as one family group. It's probably not a father, a mother, and an infant. They're probably all a bit small. It may be three children who are related together. Having three people in one sarcophagus is really unusual in the Roman period. Usually it's one, very rarely you get two double burials together, but three people in this way is really unusual. A second interesting part of this process is that it preserves um, organic materials. So if we can look at the swaddled infant, you get these beautiful uh, curves which are preserving the textile outline of the cloth that the infant was swaddled in before they were placed into the sarcophagus together. And all parts of it, of the other three, are preserved beautifully.